Yesterday, Take Two shared a lot of interesting information about Red Dead Redemption and GTA, including sale numbers, amount of players, and even some hints about upcoming titles. And by that, I mean some hints about GTA 6 release date. And even more in this report between the lines, I saw some information about Red Dead Redemption 2 next gen version. But anyway, let's take a look at these documents, at this official report because it's always fun, but jokes aside, this time there are quite a lot of interesting information in this report and surprising. For example, information about Red Dead Online was really surprising. So first of all, some general information about sale numbers. And GTA 5 sold over 180 million units up to date, so it's just insane number. 5 million copies only in the last financial quarter. And by the way, this financial quarter is January, February and March of 2023. As for GTA Online, here we have some pretty standard information, but what is interesting is they are saying successfully launched GTA Plus membership program in March of 2024. And you know what's interesting? They don't share any data about GTA Plus program. And from my experience in the take two reports when they don't share specific data it usually means that it's a fail pretty much always they do it with red dead online oh red dead online succeeded our expectations oh red dead online is so successful no data no specific numbers means they kind of disappointed but not this time this time they actually shared some specific data about red dead online which is surprising but anyway let's move on to red dead redemption franchise sold over 75 million units total and only red dead redemption 2 sold 53 million units which means 3 million units in the last financial quarter, so 1 million units per month for a game that was released long time ago, that has no next-gen update, uh, no updates to online mode, pretty much nothing, but it sells like a brand new triple a game it's a huge success but you know it's obvious because red dead redemption 2 is a masterpiece anyway before we will move to more specific data about red dead online and red dead redemption 2 i want to make some comments on a hot topic you know gta 6 release date because yes in this reports there are pretty obvious signs hints on when to expect the release of this game here we have to take a look at few numbers actually first of all financial data for financial year 2023 net bookings were 5.3 billion then we move to their predictions of a financial year 2024 and they expect to deliver net bookings of 5.45 to 5.55 billion pretty much the same number as the last year so no changes here nothing to expect next interesting thing is their prediction of financial year 2025 first of all 2025 is highly anticipated year for our company. For the last several years we had been preparing our business to release an incredibly robust pipeline of projects that we believe will take our company to even greater level of success. For me it's pretty obvious they're talking about GTA 6 and yeah it's not for sure but it really looks like. And especially next line. In financial 2025 we expect to enter this new era by launching several ground breaking titles that we believe will set new standards in our industry and enable us to achieve over 8 billion in net in net bookings and uh, here is a difference like 5.5 billion and uh, in 2024 in 2023 and 8 billion in 2025 so it means they want to earn expect to earn additional 2.5 billion dollars how 
can they make it by releasing GTA 6? But again, it's important, it's only a prediction, it's like Take 2 is making prediction when GTA 6 will be released. If it will be not ready, I'm telling you, Rockstar will delay it no matter what. It's not an official release date. And even if it was an official release date, if it's not gonna be ready, Rockstar will delay it. They did it before. But you might say they mentioned several titles, upcoming titles, maybe it means there will be something else, something else that we want to see, I don't know, maybe new IP from Rockstar, or at least next-gen version of Red Dead Redemption 2, maybe even Red Dead Redemption 1 remake that was kinda rumored for a long time now. Well, unfortunately, I found some information that might disappoint you. Right here, they're saying. As a part of our ongoing portfolio management measures, we made the decision to cancel several unannounced titles in development, which we believe will enable us to tighten our focus and relocate resources to projects for which our creative teams have higher level of convention and expectations of success. So yeah, relocation resources. Remember when they announced that there will be no more big updates in Red Dead Online at least in 2022, they also used this phrase, relocated, shifted resources to next GTA title. And here we have the same information, but probably they are not talking about Red Dead Online here. I think they're talking about something else, something else that Rockstar were in theory working on. And I, I think it's about Red Dead Redemption 2 next gen and Red Dead Redemption 1 remake. It's not proven, it's just, you know, reading between the lines, but it's something that Rockstar will probably do. They hate Red Dead Redemption franchise for some reason. But anyway, let's move on to Red Dead Online and some more information about Red Dead Redemption 2. So, Red Dead Online, Rockstar and Take 2 are not mentioning too much. Like, for example, here, our results reflected better than expected results from GTA Online, GTA 5, Red Dead Redemption 2, and Zynga's mobile portfolio. You see, See, G Grand Theft Auto Online is here, but Red Dead Online is not here. Or, for example, next document. During the period, Rockstar Games continued to support the passionate, global Grand Theft Auto Online community with array of new content offerings and blah blah blah. You see, they're talking about community updates and stuff, and as for <laughs> Red Dead Online drove engagement for Red Dead Online through an array of monthly bonuses and rewards, seasonally themed gifts and more. Sorry, I fell asleep almost reading about this. But surprisingly, in a presentation itself, they mentioned Red Dead Online and even gave some numbers. So take a look. We are also pleased with the continued engagement of players with Red Dead Online as demonstrated by its 10% year-on-year increase in new online players on all platforms. And if you think about it, it's really interesting. There were no updates, no real updates in Red Dead Online for almost two years now. Game is pretty much abandoned. They are not even fixing game-breaking bugs, like stable glitch is still there. Yes, they kind of promised to fix it in a future title update, but according to SteamDB, they're not even working on any future title update at the moment at least, so I don't know when to expect it, if we even have to expect it. But anyway, they do nothing, completely abandon the game, and you know what amount of new players is only increasing. But the main reason why it's happening, you can see it here, it's a uh, amount of players in Red Dead Redemption 2 full game. You see, it uh, increased dramatically in the last November because of sales. They started to sell Red Dead Redemption 2 with 67% discount on all platforms and amount of players increased and, uh, you know, it's still pretty high. And you, but you might say it's players who play Red Dead Redemption 2. Yes, but around 35 to 40% 
of players who play Red Dead Redemption 2 at some point are at least trying Red Dead Online. And from here we get an increase in new players. Actually, let me show you the data for Red Dead Online standalone. And as you can see, there is no increase here. They still sell it with pretty much the same discount, maximum 50%. And it's pretty, pretty stable and not impressive. That's why I'm saying that Red Dead Online standalone is a fail, but still. There are a lot of new players in Red Dead Online simply because Red Dead Redemption 2 is selling so increasingly well. So let me know what you think about all this information in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. Goodbye.